Hi, the robot vacuum cleaner swamp gets deeper every day. So where does the Q Rebo from Roborock fit in? Well, I'd say it's mostly as a more low cost, while still a little bit more expensive though, sitting at around 899 US dollars, alternative to the S8 Pro Ultra and the S7 Max V Ultra. However, even at a lower price, the Q Rebo still sports the same automated system where it both refills and empties water from and to containers in the base station, as well as that it empties dirt into a vacuum bag also located in the base station. So all you have to do in terms of more normal maintenance is to make sure that the water containers are full and empty respectively and change out the dust bag every once in a while. Other than that, the q -Revo takes care of most things itself. It even cleans and dries its mopping pad, which is nice. What it lacks compared to the more expensive models is however a more refined navigation system to detect and avoid smaller objects, as well as the vibrarize mopping technique, which has on the q -Revo been replaced with two spinning mop pads instead. Getting started with the q -Revo is super easy and basically requires you to download an app, snap on the mop pads and press go. The robot then creates a map of your household and after some more fiddling and dividing of rooms in the app, the robot can then start cleaning. So then what's that like? Well, the vacuuming that performs at a top suction level of 5,500 pascal is great. However, you probably don't need all of that power most of the time since the suction is actually perfectly fine on both the normal and the quiet mode, on which the vacuum cleaner is also super quiet. For carpets and rugs, the robot automatically boosts the suction power if you wanted to, which is a nice addition. The mopping also leaves good results and little to be desired in terms of cleanliness, at least in my novice mopping book. And the robot also has no issues navigating through chairs and table legs and avoiding other bigger obstacles. Battery life is spec to about 180 minutes and to clean my roughly 90 square meters apartment leaves around 60% battery life after an hour of vacuuming and mopping. A fair result I'd say. The only real issues I have with the q -Revo is basically the same ones I had about its similar competitive sibling from Dreamy, the L10 Ultra. Namely that the object identification sometimes leave a bit more to be desired and leaving loose cables on the floor is simply not a good idea. The little rotating spinner on the side can sometimes also flick away bigger dirt objects so that it gets into an already cleaned area and then gets missed by the robot. But this is true for most vacuums using this technique. I also noticed that the build quality feels somewhat more rickety again compared to the Dreamy L10 Ultra, especially in the front bumper that does make a little bit more of a plastic noise when traveling over large bumps. However, it doesn't seem to impact the functionality at all. Speaking of bumps though, the q -Rever also has no problem getting over my one-ish centimeter thresholds, but just like the Dreamy L10 Ultra, I'd say that high ones might put up a little bit more of a fight. Apart from that though, the Roborock q -Revo is a surprisingly cost-worthy cleaning companion that makes both vacuuming and mopping a breeze. Surely it's expensive, no doubt about it, but it is not as expensive as their top-tier models, and if you're looking for something a bit cheaper but with a good overall functionality, I'd reckon you will get pretty far with the q -Revo. And that is that. Please share any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a nice day. Bye.